all right good morning students today we will be starting chapter 8 that is motion all right now uh, see what has been said over here is you are given with the gist of motion okay you are you are just given an introduction for what is motion all right see in uh, in our day to day life we see everything moving right everything moves boats they fly fish they swim blood flows atom uh, and molecules they also move planet stars move all right planet moves that means we are continuously in motion right but we don't feel that motion we all are moving every seconds of time right because the earth is moving but we don't feel that motion we often perceive an object to be in motion when its position changes with time. Okay, you underline this please. However, there are situations where the motion is inferred through indirect evidences. For example, we infer motion of air by observing the movement of the dose and the movement of uh, branches of tree what causes the phenomena of sunrise sunset and changing season it is due to the motion of the earth it is true why don't we directly perceive the motion if it is true why don't we di directly perceive the motion of the earth okay some motion are in a such way okay that we we cannot perceive by our eyes see if something is moving if i am moving means you can see me me moving right but if you see air moving you can't see air moving. You only predict the movement of the air by the movement of the branches of the tree, by the movement of the dust particle, by that air, right? But it is, a, it is also a known fact that earth also moves because of the movement of the earth. What happens day and night, right? Changing season. Everything happens to the movement of the earth. But do we feel that movement? No. Okay. Those movement are the movement which, which can't be perceived directly. We perceive them by indirect evidences. Okay. Now, an object may appear to be moving for one passenger and stationary for other. Okay. For example, the passenger in a moving bus the roadside tree appears to be moving backward okay a person standing on the roadside perceives bows along with the passenger as moving okay four different person okay different thing are moving where you are that depends okay see if you are inside the bus you see what outside the persons standing outside the trees standing outside in a motion right but when if i am outside a bus and i am watching you inside a bus then what i feel you are moving and the bus is moving right for the person inside the bus he feel that the person outside who is standing is in a motion right because that thing passes right but for the person standing outside they feel like bus and that person is in motion now what does this observation indicate most motion are complex some object may move in a straight line other may take a circular path some may rotate and a few other may vibrate okay there are different type of motion you can underline this straight line okay circular path and then rotate rotation motion and then vibrate okay there may be situations involving a combination of this all right in this chapter we shall first learn to describe the motion of object along a straight line we shall also learn to express such motion through simple equation and graph later we shall discuss the ways of describing circular motion okay firstly in this chapter we are just dealing with a straight line motion okay and then in the second half we will be studying about the circular motion in this particular chapter okay